You guys don't understand who just joined in my chat. Javert, I know you in my kickstream, dude. Javert, best console player, bro. If, if he's playing like that, that's the best console player right there, bro. Oh, uh, Javert, yeah, he's pretty twisted. I've played against this guy a bunch. I am, for one, going to recognize your skill, dude. Your movement is fucking insane. That's the link. And yes, before the video gets started, this is the same movement guy I posted, um, like, I don't know, a few weeks ago, but all this stuff you can apply to Warzone. So it's basically the same stuff, but just using the Warzone instead of multiplayer now. Yo, what's good? It's Javert. And in today's video, I got y'all the highly requested Black Ops 6 Omni movement guide. Now, a lot of people have been asking me to do a video like covering the new Omni movement because it's never been in any Call of Duty before. And yeah, a lot of people just wanted me to like make a guide to how to learn and master all the new Omni movement techniques. So yeah, you know how to do it for y'all. But yeah, in the video, I'm gonna start off with some basic normal techniques. And then as the video progresses, I'm gonna go to the more advanced ones. Uh, but yeah, before we get into the uh, movement techniques, I'm gonna go through my settings for y'all. As I know, I'm a console player and I use a default PlayStation 5 controller with no paddles. So if you're just like me, I recommend you playing this layout right here. What this layout is, is Bumper Drummer Tactical, but I just modified it a little bit. As y'all see in my videos, I like to spam the Wild Wild Weapon Swap. So I have my Switch Weapon R1 and my Lethal L3. But if you don't want to do it like I do it, you don't want to, um, you know, Wild Wild a lot, I recommend just doing this. The default button layout right here, this is just regular Bumper Jumper. What Bumper Jumper is, it allows you to jump with L1, you can slide with the right stick, shoot, you can basically do all the omni movement you have to do without moving your right thumb off the right stick. So you can still aim while sliding, crouching, you know, doing all that. So yeah, that's the button layer right here. Um, horror. All right, next we got sensitivity. So I'm not gonna lie, I do not recommend you playing 2020. I just like it because I, that's what I've always been playing for like a long time. But this game, I recommend you probably starting from around like nine, eight or nine because i'm not gonna lie the movement is kind of hard to track so eight to like 10 is like a good range um for you to still have great aim and you can like track people but if you think that's too slow you can just slowly work your way up a lot of people ask like what's the best sense and it's really just the person or the play style like it's not really like a perfect sensitivity so Whatever your place I live, you just gotta tweak the numbers and find what's perfect for you. I like 2020, but you know, some people won't like it and some people don't use it, but you know, that's what I like. And I'm gonna go through these settings kind of slow because Black Ops 6 has a lot of new settings that Warzone 3 and Modern Warfare 3 didn't have. So yeah, I'm gonna try to go through them all. Dead zones, now left stick and max stick minimum, this is very important. Make sure you have left stick minimum zero and left stick max anywhere between 75 and 99. What this does is if you have this left stick minimum higher than zero, your attack sprint is gonna feel like clunky and it's gonna feel delayed and you know, just the whole movement is just gonna feel weird. So make sure you have this at zero and you can put this between 75 and 99, but 75 feels like the perfect spot. Right stick minimum zero, right stick max, 99 if you have stick drift just keep pushing this up until your stick drift goes away i don't have stick drift so that's why the mine's on zero um these are triggers put both of these on zero
Now this is another big one, Sprint Assist. This is just basically Tax Sprint from Warzone. So what you wanna do is put this on Tax Sprint Assist. This is just like automatic tax sprint. So just turn that on, put this on zero. I have tapped the slide on because this is just like hybrid, but it just feels more responsive than hybrid. So I just got tapped the slide. Slide such day activation delay. Make sure this is on short. Do not put it on medium or long. Make sure it's on short because if you put it on that, it's just gonna feel like slow and delayed. So make sure it's on short. All right, before I get into any of the movement techniques though, I'm gonna just show y'all like how to run and how to use the Omni movement. So before Black Ops 6 and before Omni movement was added, you used to just be able to sprint forward and you just walk backwards and like walk to the side. But now since all the movements in the game, you can sprint forward, sprint backwards, sprint left and right, just like this. So you don't have to just sprint forward. You can, it feels weird once you first do it, but once you get like hang of it, you're gonna see how useful it is. All right, so the first movement technique I'm gonna be going through is called slide cancel. I'm pretty sure everybody knows what slide cancel is, but if you don't, it's just literally in the name. All you wanna do, slide and then press your jump button. So whatever you slide with right stick, press it and then press your jump button to cancel it. So you can do a long slide like this, or you can do a short one like this. So you can slide to the left, slide to the right. Slide backwards, all that. And this is the same as the regular slide comes going forward. You just move your left stick and then just press the slide button. That's what it looks like this. All right, so the next move technique I'll be showing y'all is called the Dolphin Dive. Now, the first time in Call of Duty history, you can shoot while dolphin diving because you used to be able to dolphin dive and you have to wait till you hit the ground to be able to shoot. But now, since Black Ops 6 has Omni movement, you can dolphin dive and shoot while in the air. So instead of, you know, just jumping around the corner like this, you can come around just like that. Now, the aim, when you do it, your aim is sideways, but if you practice it, you can, like, you can just adjust to it because it didn't take me that long to adjust. So you just. All 
All right, the next technique I'm gonna be showing y'all is really one of my favorites. It's called like the misdirection. So it's just like a Euro step of basketball. You just fake one way and then you end up going to the left or you end up going to the other way. So uh, say this sign right here. Well, no, say this this uh, trip right here, the enemy. No, wait, 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 listen. Say the enemy is sitting right here on in the hood, in front of the hood of the truck right here. So you right here and the enemy's on the front. So what you want to do is you want to fake going this way and then you know, just like I taught you earlier, you can slide or dolphin dive the other way. So, do like this. Let me just misdirect them. So, if I'm the enemy and I see you, I see you pop this way, I'm just going to think you're going to come like full speed. But you end up faking this way and then going this way. And then they just going to be completely lost. So. All right, so the next movement technique I'm gonna be showing y'all is called door plays. This is like a technique and it's mostly like a tip all in one. So what door plays is, it's you use the door to your advantage to break somebody's line of sight. So um, say, well, you don't have to know if anybody's in here. What you wanna do every time you're rushing or somewhere and it's a door, you don't wanna just like run in just like that. What you wanna do is you always wanna make sure you slide in and now with Omni movement, and now with Omni movement, you can dolphin dive in, you know, just pre-fire or whatever. But make sure you do, make sure you slide or dolphin dive in instead of just, you know, running in like that and doing this. Oh shit, all right. Every time you see doors, you want to make sure you slide or dolphin dive in. And if you got like a UAV up and you know somebody's like right here or right here, you might as well just slide and pre-fire. So they're just going to be so caught off guard. And then part two to the door plays is say somebody is chasing you. Like say you're running from somebody, you one shot, somebody's chasing. What you want to do is open, open the door like this and you know they're chasing. You wanna hide right here, and once you hear him close, or once you hear him close in on you, you just wanna bust through the door like that, and their camera's gonna be gone. They're gonna still be running, and you're gonna be behind them. So, say somebody right here, you're fighting, you one shot, you hear him chasing, you come here, wait, break the camera, they're still gonna be running over there. All right, so the next movement technique I'm gonna be showing y'all is actually one of my favorites. It's probably my number one favorite, y'all already know. If you've been watching my videos, you already know what I'm finna say, but it's a nav switcher rule. And you can do it different this year. What the NAS switcher route is, say this is the enemy right here. All you want to do is you want to run out, shoot once, slide to the left or to the right. Or you can dolphin dive now. So you can shoot once, dolphin dive or slide left or right. So speed. You just run out, shoot once, and then slide. Run out. Stand right, right here with this person. This nigga got a big ass baseball bat. <laughs> now the reason why this move is so good is because if an enemy is sees you come out and you stop for like half a second and shoot, they're not gonna have, they're not gonna think like you're gonna go slide into the left of the story. Like nobody's gonna think that. So once you come out and shoot once, they think you're just gonna stand there and they just, their aim is just locked. And then once you slide quick to the left or to the right, their aim is gonna go all over the place. And then by the time they try to lock on, they already gonna be dead. So, all right. And another thing I wanna uh, go over with y'all, I probably get a comment on like every video, but it's people ask me, how do I why why? All I do is I just press my R1 button, just like this. I don't have a Wawa macro or nothing. And I just press R1 twice. How to get the timing down on it? People ask me, like, how do I time it? You just gotta know what gun it is and know the animation. So I know this, you know, this PP Bison animation. So you gotta get the timing of it. 
all right now that i went over all the techniques um what you can do now is you can go through and like try to chain them together and combo them so you can boom dolphin dive in shoot run away then re-slide reach out just like that slide in dolphin dive you know you just got to be creative because you can do a lot more than you could in any other call of duty with this omni movement so you just got to be creative as long as you don't overdo it but don't think too hard about like like when you're doing it don't think like overthink it because you're going to end up probably dying if you overthink it uh but yeah uh that's really the end of the movement god make sure y'all comment if i missed anything and if you have any questions that i didn't go over make sure i comment them below uh but other than that yeah that's it like i said make sure to comment Make sure I leave a like and subscribe. Uh, yeah, that's it. I love y'all. Peace.